Hey, good morning from you know where, Southern Nevada. Hey, today we're going to take a look at the Remington 22 Thunderbolt Rimfire Ammo. You know, when I was growing up in the 70s, man, I just shot a ton of this stuff. This and uh, Winchester Wildcat would go down to uh, Kmart and buy a brick of this for about seven bucks and just go shoot it up and just have a lot of fun. So, you know, back then about seven dollars it doesn't sound like a whole lot but I was making about 350 an hour at the time so yeah seven dollars it was quite expensive but today this stuff sells for about forty dollars a box I picked this up for $29.99 on sale so 30 bucks I thought what the heck let's do a review on it and see what happens so what we're gonna do is uh, I got a handful of guns here we're gonna take a look at those we'll take a quick look at the ammo and we're going to check uh, accuracy, velocity, and reliability. So uh, let's crack this open and take a look at it. 22 Thunderbolt, made by Remington, 500 rounds. And let's take a look at the specs here. Bullet weight, 40 grains, lead round nose. These are not copper plated, by the way. Velocity, 1,255 feet per second. And of course made in the USA. This is a fresh box of ammo. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like. And so again 500 rounds. You know it's nice and shiny. It looks good. But uh, we'll see how it uh, performs. Again just a plain lead round nose bullet. All right, let's take a look at the guns I'm going to shoot today. All right, the first gun I'm going to shoot today, and we're going to shoot this for accuracy. This is a Ruger 1022. This one has a walnut stock. In fact, this one was actually made in 1977. Absolutely love this rifle. It has a Nikon 2 to 7 power scope. Really like this combination right here really I really do love shooting this rifle I have a Taurus TX 22 really really do like this pistol in fact it's one of my favorite pistols that, that I own uh, just just an excellent shooter extremely reliable fun to shoot and I have a Browning Buckmark now this one's a little rough looking. I picked it up at a pawn shop last year, but I'll tell you what, it shoots really, really good. Just a, an excellent little pistol. Hey, check this out. This is a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 pistol. And I'll tell you what, I, I really enjoy shooting this one. Uh, don't know what I can say about it, except uh, it's accurate, extremely reliable and it's a lot of fun to shoot and I have a Ruger Wrangler we'll put a few rounds through this today I also have a little Jennings 22 believe it or not this thing is actually pretty reliable so we'll put a few rounds through this it does only have one six round magazine by the way and I have a really nice Walther Colt 1911. This is a government model. Really, really like this pistol. Extremely reliable and very, very accurate. Uh, you know what? I think that's it. So, let's get set up and uh, start shooting. I'm going to start off shooting for accuracy before it gets too hot out here so we're gonna we're gonna shoot this Ruger at 50 yards I'm gonna shoot two five shot groups and uh, my first five will be normal speed and my second five shots I'm, I'm gonna speed up the video just a little bit to make it go by a little quicker so let's get set up and uh, see what happens
Looks pretty good. Let's go check it out. All right, so this was my first group right here, and that was my last round I fired. But you know what? From here to here is only one inch, but from here to here is closer to inch and a half, but not bad. And my second group, you know what? About an inch and a quarter. Not bad for that cheap ammo at 50 yards. All right, time to check velocity. We're also going to check the consistency too and see if the yam was pretty consistent. Now the box says the yam was rated at 1,255 feet per second. So that's what we're looking for. I'm going to fire 10 rounds through the Ruger and then 10 rounds through the TX-22 and then we'll average out the speed and, and see what we come up with. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the monitor and uh, so you guys can see the the speed in real time as I'm shooting. So let me get set up and uh, we'll start shooting. Okay, 1022. TX-22. Okay, we're going to start off with the TX-22 and we're just going to see if we have any duds or misfires or any other problems. So let's fire 32 rounds. All right, Browning, 20 rounds. Jennings. Now, I only have one magazine. I'm going to fire six rounds, reload it, and six more. All right, six more rounds. All right, next we're going to shoot the Colt, and I only have one magazine, 12 rounds, so I'm going to shoot these and uh, reload it and shoot another 12. Huh. So far, so good, huh? That's getting kind of boring. Let's shoot something else. Smith & Wesson, and I have two uh, magazines with 25 rounds each. Let's see what happens. Yeah, perfect. 
All right, let's shoot the Ruger Wrangler. Now, of course, you wouldn't expect any problems with the revolver, but you know what? That's why we're out here, so. Uh, I have three plates set up. They're painted white. Might be kind of hard to see, but let's see if I can knock them over. You know, these rounds, they just dropped right into the cylinder and those six empty cases popped right out. Let's try six more rounds. Yep, I do like this little gun. You know, so far I haven't had one single issue with this ammo, but I do want to shoot at least 300 rounds today, so let's just start blasting off some ammo and see what happens. Did I tell you I like this little Smith & Wesson? Well, I do. Ruger 15 round magazine. Yeah. So guys, there you go. You know what? I have maybe 150 rounds left, maybe 200 at the most. So I did fire at least 300 rounds today and not one single issue, not even with that little Jennings. Really, really happy with this ammo, especially at 30 bucks for 500 rounds. And yes, I would buy some more. Anyways, guys, I, I do thank you for watching my video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and... <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.